What's going on, guys? This is James Allen. I am recording this on Friday, October 31st, 2025. Last week, a viewer in the ICP community left a comment on one of my videos letting me know that Kadena had shut down, you know, and sure enough, I went and looked it up and found that they closed their doors. The organization randomly just stop all operations for the blockchain and basically just abandon the chain. And I thought that was a good episode to do relative to internet computer, right? Because what killed Kadena is a lack of culture, which is the same thing that's killing ICP. So I decided to do an episode on that, and which I did. But as I was doing the homework, the digging on Kadena to sort of like have material to present to my ICP audience, I stumbled upon a portion, uh, a statement about Kadena's past that I found very interesting relative to Casper. That is, uh, the news article said when Kadena was first released, it, it was saw as it, it was seen as a very promising blockchain because it promised to scale proof of work. It promised Bitcoin style proof of work, but with high throughput. And when I read that, I was like, huh, that sounds like Casper. You know, that sounds exactly like, like Casper. So it kind of took me off a tangent where I went and dug into the technology of Kadena to see how exactly were they doing this? Are they similar to Caspa? And I made a discovery I thought was worth sharing with the Caspa community. And I think you guys are gonna like it. So here we go. What I ended up finding out after sort of skimming over through uh, the white paper of Kadena and looking at their tech a little bit more carefully was they created a data structure called ChainWeb. And what ChainWeb does is it allows proof of work to scale by sharding blockchains, right? So instead of having a single uh, chain producing blocks, Kadena had something like 20 parallel blockchain producing blocks independently, right? Which is pretty crazy when you think about it, right? So, you know, they, they don't have that limitation that Bitcoin have because Bitcoin only has one chain. Kadena has multiple chain braided into a set which is what they call the chain web. And each of these chains is producing their own block. And of course, this allowed Kadena to scale their TPS quite a bit. In fact, they were promising, it was a theoretical promise, of course, that Kadena in the future would allow nearly half a million transactions per second. I think the number was 480,000 TPS. So they were making pretty crazy claims given the fact that Kadena could infinitely scale the number of parallel blockchains they had running on the chain web. But here's here's the problem. Here is <laughs> here is what killed Kadena. That is blockchain at the end of the day, all blockchains are ledgers of truth. And just like any blockchain, uh Kadena the, the system had to arrive at one universal truth, right? That's something every blockchain has to do. They have to arrive at one universal truth. But now instead of having one chain they have 20, right? So that interchain synchronization made the system increasingly complex, right? Because now instead of having to reconcile blocks in one chain, you now have to reconcile blocks in 20 chain. So this block reconciliation is what killed Kadena because at the end of the day, they the system has to arrive at one truth so it has to like order all these blocks from these independent chain these 20 independent chains which is why if you look at kadena's finality for an example you have something like 10 to 30 minutes so you have to wait up to half an hour to get your um, uh, data set irreversible on the kanita blockchain as you can imagine as those parallel chains increase the congestion would increase and the system would just get more and more sluggish so kadena didn't really achieve what it aimed to achieve because at the end of the day it still needed to it still had order queue it still needed to reconcile all these blocks now how is casper different how did casper dodge that bullet of reconciliation block collision rollbacks right how did it dodge that bullet well if you're if you're clever and i'm sure a lot of you are the killer shot is ghost dag right ghost dag is the kill shot and what Gozdag does is instead of having to deal with reconciliation and collision and all this stuff, it maps all the valid blocks into a weighted geometric structure. And then it mathematically orders these blocks 
inside the DAG after the fact, right? So you don't have to worry about rollbacks or collision or order queues, right? Because Ghost DAG automatically um, uh, maps it into a weighted geometric structure and then after the fact orders them mathematically. So rather than deal with block collision, it lets the truth emerge through geometry, which is really a genius system when you think about it because that's how CASPA achieve the, the speed with proof of work without sacrificing safety or atomicity, right? Transactions are still atomic on proof of work. I mean, on CASPA, meaning it's still an all or nothing transaction on a CASPA network. It didn't have to uh, sacrifice safety or atomicity. So this is how CASPA does it. I think this was a wonderful uh, comparison to see where Kadena failed and how CASPA succeeded, again, using Ghost DAG as the kill shot. Now, what is the point of this, right? Like, we're, we're not just sitting here laughing at Casper, I mean, Kadena. We're not just sitting here laughing at Kadena and say, hey, look how much better Casper is. You know, that's, that's not the goal of this episode. The goal of this episode is to show to other people, especially developers and entrepreneur, that your tech is safe here. Your tech is safe here. Casper is indeed achieving what it promised. It is achieving uh, proof of work with speed without sacrificing your safety or the atomic transactions that you need in a blockchain environment, right? It's to let other developers and entrepreneurs know that this chain is a safe space, is delivering what it promised it would. And that's very important, right? Because I already said in the past that I don't think Caspa is a chain that's waiting for more tech. I think it's a chain that's waiting for adoption. It needs entrepreneurs to put real technology on it that's being used by real people. And hopefully, I will be one of these entrepreneurs that put Cityscape on Casper, well, Cityscape Street Credit at least. We'll see about the smart contract layer because we have uh, blockchain competitors like Sui, which might get the job. But I know I will put Street Cred, the cash layer, on Casper. So that's, that's the goal of this episode. It's not to poke fun at Kadena, although I'm sure some of you love that. It's to tell other developers that, hey, this chain is delivering this chain is a safe place to host your technology. In any case, my misfits, that's all I have for you in this episode. You know what to do. Don't forget to press that like button and support me on Patreon. I will see you next time.